Ivy Leagues and top US universities absolutely love extracurricular activities. And one of the most sought after activities that we've seen in the recent years is research. Now, research can be of any form, whether you're doing it with a professor in a college, virtually, or getting your work published. And the research bootcamp or the ISRP by Incognito Blueprints are fantastic ways to get involved as a high school student, no matter where you are, whether you're in the US, domestic, international, or any other country, and get that research-based activity on your profile. So in today's video, we're gonna take a look at some of the top teams that have been part of the research bootcamp over the last couple of years from a few hundred students. So you guys can get an idea of what exactly the bar is to actually do this research. And the best part is this is all virtual. So if any of you are interested, check out the link in the description box to see how you can sign up for the waitlist for the upcoming research bootcamp or apply to the International STEM research program. So the way that this will work is we will have presentations that will go on up till 10 minutes. Each team will present and there'll be like a five minute question and answer round. To tackle these issues, we set out to create a website called Rate My PG, where young professionals and working women could easily find safe and affordable PGs. Going through many research papers, we found that numerical data can be of great supplement to a to prove a hypothesis. So observing the conventional methods of previous research, we discovered that mostly all variables were considered to have equal weightage. Our solution to these issues is to create a decentralized platform which automates processes and utilizes blockchain advantages in data management. For example, it's enhanced efficiency, privacy, and security. By automating data collection, the platform minimizes the risk of human error and increases data processing efficiency. We created VitalJ with a clear goal to be the ultimate data management system for the medical process, integrating blockchain features into a user-friendly interface for administrators, physicians, nurses, and patients, ensuring convenient patient dashboard, robust security, privacy, reliability, and connectivity. Intranational insulin offers several advantages in the treatment. One key benefit is it effectively targets the brain by bypassing the blood brain barrier and enhancing cognitive function. By embracing AI-driven models in HR, we open doors to enhance decision-making, streamlined processes, and ultimately, a more cost-effective and productive workplace. Let's embark on this journey to understand the dynamic and promising future that AI-powered HR brings to the world of business. Welcome everyone for the fourth research bootcamp project showcase. I believe we've done like four of these at this point, and honestly, I'm so excited for this one. So the research towards e health is pretty valuable to society because it provides credible analysis about the situation. Now just to summarize some of our key findings. Firstly, stakeholder input and engagement is essential for growth in e-health. So even though all the early methods gave invaluable insights to DNA sequencing, but they used to follow an approach called bulky sequencing. Process used by a computer for diagnosis is very similar to the ones used by doctors, wherein the doctors try to find a particular feature to find out if the image belongs to a one disease or the other. To analyze the performance of a model, imagine its confusion matrix as a strategic battlefield map. It pinpoints where the model hits bullseyes and where it stumbles. It thus acts as a scoreboard to keep track of how accurately the model is identifying images of each class, where the darker the color of the blocks on the left diagonal, the better it is. By combining advanced AI technology with user-friendly interfaces, clinical and clinical integration, we hope to expand access to skin diagnosis and contribute to early detection and treatments of skin conditions worldwide. We build this system architecture to address the growing need for a roadmap to effectively and accessibly implement novel ML models. Some of the major risk factors for CTS would be frequent and repetitive hand motions, some specific medical conditions, or it could also be genetic. Welcome to the fifth research bootcamp project showcase. Uh, we are going to have a lot of updates and teams presenting their projects. So I'm really excited to see what the teams have been working on over the last um, couple of weeks. 
Um, we have parents, we have some amount of faculty to an extent. We're going to have judges very soon, as soon as the presentation starts. So this is going to be an exciting hour, hour and a half that we're going to be spending together. Um, I'm really proud of all of the achievements that the students have done. Um, and just to kind of give everyone a small update on where we stand. Inconino Blueprints um, hosted over 100 students in this particular cohort, just this one alone. And um, we had students from over 10 different countries participate, which is a huge, diverse group in itself. Now, the goal all the way together was to build your foundational fundamental academic research knowledge and to introduce you to the field of academic based research in general. Most of the students that we had in the program were high school students. We had a few gap year and college students as well. But nevertheless, the program was tailored in such a way that it's kind of beginner friendly to anyone who's willing to learn. With that said, the research bootcamp doesn't necessarily cover everything that we wanted to. We had some roadblocks, we had some things, and even students mentioned that there are certain aspects that they wish that the research bootcamp had provided differently. Some of those things include the ability to choose their own project or being able to work individually so that they can work at their own pace or even simply have more time to work on the project itself. Now, this is where um, I do want to point out that the, the In Communal Blueprints team has other research opportunities that I think most of you um, might benefit from. These are longer term um, opportunities, and they're basically categorized into two. The first one is the International STEM Research Program, and the second one is the Profile Building Mentorship. Code Blue is a solution designed for speed, accessibility, and life-saving guidance. It's a Python-based first aid app designed to provide instant, real-time medical guidance. Now, for our results, we fine-tuned by Abert model uh, achieved 80% accuracy in symptom classification through text input. We trained it on an in-house self-curated data set containing 1,000 prompts and their classification. Then it was tested on 30 example prompts, and 20 to 25 of them were considered correct. Students today aren't just overwhelmed. They're exhausted. 65% of students reported high academic stress and spent 40% of their time on low priority topics because the system lacks clarity and support. A Wharton School study found that students using generative AI for math preparation actually performed worse on exams when the AI was taken away. CPO and DGRPO. These are the breakthroughs that allow our AI to think creatively and adapt to each student. Now, a quick walkthrough on our full app. First, Imagine a 68-year-old living man with hypertension and diabetes. He first taps to create profile types in his name and personal details. Next, he adds his medication details and adding, let's suppose, metformin 500 milligrams, and he wants it twice a day. And then he can also add at what time according to the prescription that's given to him. The person can also add any additional notes as well. Our second feature includes a built-in camera. The person can scan the pill bottle label in seconds and med schedule reads and fills in the medication details. Then again, the user can customize his preferences according to the prescriptions again. Okay, that was a lot to take in. And I completely understand that this is not possible if you do research by yourself, which is why the research bootcamp or any other research program provides a well-defined structure. So you don't have to worry about what to do next. Rather, you can just excel in the activity. And me on a personal basis, I did my research at Harvard Medical School, which was in person. And I know how intimidating and so stressful that was. So these students that have achieved this at just a high school level, it's really notable and commendable. And if you're interested in the research bootcamp, I do have a little bit of sad news, which is it only happens once a year. So you really have to take advantage of when they open up their slots for registration and the waitlist is open at this point so you can sign up using the description below on the other hand if you're interested in starting your research journey right now check out the international stem research program or the profile building mentorship both by incognito blueprints they're one-on-one -on -one opportunities whereas the research bootcamp is a group-based activity now the link to the isrp and profile building mentorship are also going to be in the description below it's an application based program so check that out and that's all we had for this video now i want to know from you guys what is your best extracurricular activity don't give me five or six just one best one impress me in the comments below so put that one activity that you want to show off with 
and I'll respond if I'm truly impressed. So drop that comment below, subscribe to the channel, like the video if you're watching till this point, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.